Happy video day guys, Christina Brooke here. Today's video, I wanted to get into a subject that I've been thinking about for a while and that's because I have started to implement some different things to my morning routine, into my daily routines to just kind of uplift myself. I feel like with this whole craziness that's been happening for the past year and a half or whatever, how I don't even know how long it's been, but I feel like we've kind of gotten into like a rut. And now that things are starting to somewhat seem like going back into like the daily grind, starting to see myself get a little overwhelmed, starting to feel like I don't feel put together, I feel a little bit sloppy, and feeling sloppy or feeling unprepared for the day sometimes makes me feel the entire day like a disaster. And I've kind of implemented a few things just to make myself feel better throughout the day. And I'm gonna be sharing with you guys 10 of my secrets of stuff that I have been doing. And it literally does make you feel so much better. So we've got 10 things. I think they're simple things, things that people can implement into their life. And maybe some stuff that you are already doing and some things that maybe you didn't think of. So I'm hoping that I can help you guys out with maybe a few little tweaks. So a portion of today's video is so kindly sponsored by Silk Silky, which is a beautiful silk pajama manufacturer. Just wait until you guys see the silk pajamas that I'm gonna show you guys. So I do have a discount code for you guys. They are offering you guys a 15% discount if you use the code Brook 15 But we are going to get into the silk pajamas. Of course, I am wearing one today, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how pretty they are, but let's go ahead, let's get into this. If you are not subscribed already, I would love it if maybe you take a second to hit subscribe right now. Join the family. I love to talk about makeup, fashion, and just pretty things. So if you guys like that, please don't forget to hit subscribe and let's go ahead and let's get into it. All right guys, so number one on my list. So this is something I do every single morning besides brush my teeth, which I'm not gonna include in this video because I really think that we should all be brushing our teeth. But number one in this video is something that I used to sometimes skip over and that's just because life happens and you have to run around. But I have noticed that when I do this, I feel better. So number one is throwing some water on your face. Like literally when you're brushing your teeth in the morning, just get water and put it on your face. Just put water on your face. There's something about water hitting your face that either wakes you up and makes you feel better. I don't know what it does, but it works wonders. Especially for me, when I don't put water in my face and then I go make my coffee and start my day, I could tell that I feel tired. But when I put the water on my face, it's almost like the water like wakes me up right away. And it also like cleans off like any crud that you have on your face from sleeping. You know, droolers out there, if you, get, you know, but gone. Just in those few seconds in the morning that you just really need energy, coffee's not the only thing that does it. Throw water on your face. You'll see, I think you'll thank me. So number two is upgrade your pajamas. I know, I know we all have that t-shirt with 17 holes in it, which, which I have walked to the mailbox in and I have regretted, especially when my neighbors drive by and I'm like, ah. So I know we all have those shirts. We, I have, I have plenty of them. But one thing that I have been doing, especially over this past year, is upgrading my pajamas. Now, this just makes you feel better overall. When you're wearing something cute to go to sleep and when you wake up, if you don't have time to change out of your pajama, it just makes you feel better. So this is where I'm gonna show you guys the silk pajamas. So they so kindly are sponsoring this portion of the video and they let me pick two of their silk pajamas. And I personally think that not only buying just like casual pajamas, but buying silk pajamas that feel great on the skin and also look luxurious is really something to be noticed. And let me go ahead and show you guys these pajamas. All right, so I just walked away from the filming area to show you guys these pajama. So this is the first one that I was sent over. So I did pick this one. There was so many options on the website though, but this was kind of like that pajama that I feel like everybody should have. It's kind of like a casual cute pajama. Like it has this beautiful silk 
silky spaghetti string top. And then I picked it with the shorts because I live in South Florida and we always are hot. So it's very little time that we get cold over here. So I like short pajamas. So like in the middle of the night, I don't get like super hot. So I love these. It is so adorable. And even look at the little bow in the front. Like these are so, so cute. I honestly love this set, okay? So this is something I could wear a lot. It comes in a lot of different colors and they also have a pant version. So if you're somebody who likes pants, you can also get the pant version. But I think that this is so cute. But I love this. You guys see in the back, it's kind of just like that. It's a cute little pajama set and I love the feeling of it though. It has this really beautiful silk. I don't know if you guys can appreciate how soft and silky this looks, but this feels so good. It feels really good on the skin. It just has this really luxurious look to it. So if you guys can tell, I really love this two-piece set. It fits me perfect. Like it just feels really nice. It looks really nice. It looks elevated. I feel like I'm ready for the day in something like this. Like I can literally walk around my house and feel really, really comfortable. It is pretty short, so it depends on what you guys want. So if you don't like to have short shorts, I would definitely say go for one of the options that they have like a longer pant and that would probably be a lot more comfortable for everyday wear. I love this for the nighttime. I have been using it already and I just really, really love it. I just love the feel on the skin and yeah, this is a huge win. Let's say you want something just to feel elevated at night. I wanna show you guys this really, really cute gown that they sent me. So it's kind of like a sleeping gown and I really, really like it. All right, so here is the nightgown option. So if you just want something to feel really, really nice at night, you wanna walk around and feel uplifted Lifted and just feel like you're wearing something really, really pretty and elegant. This is so pretty. It feels really nice. It has all of this beautiful detailing on it. If you guys can see, there's like a lace. There's little tiny like crystals on it. It's that beautiful silk fabric. And even in the back, you guys can see it just has a really, really cute back. It's a little bit open. It has the lace detail. But I feel like this is like one of those pieces that you don't feel uncomfortable wearing because it's not like real like lingerie nightwear. You can even wear like a pretty little robe. They do have like matching robes that you can buy with this. So you could wear this like underneath a matching robe. And it really is just like a really pretty nightgown. So it's more of an elevated way to wear nightwear. Instead of just wearing like your typical cotton dress that can get very hot too, this just feels good on the skin. It's breathable. It feels nice. And tell me this doesn't look elegant. I feel like I'm an elegant sleeper. Like I don't know. I just really honestly love this so much. It also came packaged really, really really cute inside of tissue paper. I also really like the length. So I am 5'3 for reference. And if you guys see the length, the length is really good. It's not like a super short skirt. So the length is perfect. So it's not like a super short skirt that I would feel uncomfortable like walking around my house with. It's not like that. It's more of a longer skirt. It's a perfect length, but it still has a little bit of sexiness to it. But for the most part, it just feels very elegant. So definitely there's two options here. You, you can go for something a little bit more toned down like the outfit before which is a little bit more casual but still has that beautiful silk luxurious look to it or you can go all the way to this type of extreme which is more of a gown which has more of an elegant feel a girly feel I love the pink color there was more colors in this and then there was a little bit more sexier type of silky lingerie pieces so just depends on what you want to go for but I think any type of silky pajamas could really just make you feel so much better like I feel a lot prettier in this than my cotton shirt with all the holes on it and shorts. You know? So this is just literally elevating my day. It makes me feel better. And when I go to sleep, I feel like I'm sleeping like a princess. And this is beautiful. Definitely, if you guys are interested in any of these pieces, I would definitely tell you to check out. I will have these exact pieces linked down below. And of course, you can use the code BROOK15 to get 15% off, like I told you guys in the beginning of the video. All of the information will be down below. You can follow those links. You could shop them. And like I said, a lot of other beautiful pieces. Just check out their website site and I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised with the prices as well as how beautiful all the pieces are. So let's go ahead and let's move in to the next thing. 
So let's move on. Let's move on to number three. So number three is something that as a makeup channel, I mean, we've got to talk about putting makeup on your face, okay? I know, I know that we don't have to put makeup on every day, and I sometimes try not to put makeup on every day, but I literally feel so much better when I put color on my skin. Get a tinted moisturizer like my Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue is something that I love to use, and you know, even if you don't wanna put that much makeup on, just put a tinted moisturizer on your face. What it does, it moisturizes your skin, it also evens out discoloration, it gives you a little slight glow to the skin, it makes you feel healthy, you'll walk by the mirror and say, wow, my skin looks amazing today. And that's what you want to feel. You just always want to feel uplifted. Even if you don't feel good that day, you want to feel uplifted. And just putting like a tinted moisturizer. For me, it makes a big difference. I don't have the perfect skin. So sometimes when I don't have anything on and I look a mess and I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh, this day is not gonna go good. You know, but when I look more put together, for some reason, I feel like I can do so much stuff today. I don't know, it works for me. But anyways, putting on a tinted moisturizer, adding a little color to your skin with whatever you like to use. Usually me, I'll just use like my Hourglass face palette that has the powder and the bronzer all together. I'll mix it all together, give some color to my skin. Sometimes I'll throw on some blush, sometimes I won't. And I just feel like it does a huge difference. Now the other thing that I had to put this in its own category, because I think that this is something that anybody who's over 35 will benefit from, okay? So number four is use a color corrector under your eyes. And I know most people will think right now, like Christina, but that's like glamified makeup, like you're really going out there on a daily basis. But look, if you have dark circles, color correctors work so good. So I have this Bobbi Brown one. It literally feels like I'm putting on concealer, but the benefit of this one is it has a slight peach tone to it. So when I put it on, it literally covers my dark circles and gives me brightening at the same time. It doesn't go into creases. So it works better for me than even a concealer would. So then when I go in with my concealer, I put on so little concealer because there's not that much to conceal. And if you are older, you may know that putting on too much concealer can get right into those creases and also can look very cakey under your skin and you don't want that to happen. The Bobbi Brown Corrector doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look thick, it just literally looks like your skin and it covers your dark circles and gives you brightness. And then I put on very little concealer and it literally elevates my look. Like I feel like I look like I had allergies the whole entire day to my eyes are not puffy no more and no dark circles and I absolutely love it. So I definitely would say dark circles over 35 look for a color corrector so since we are on the subject of makeup and number five to me was so since we are on the subject of makeup I cannot leave out number five which is a good lip oil put something on your lips like it doesn't have to be a lipstick it doesn't have to be a liquid lip I'm using the merit lip oil this doesn't even last the entire day but it gives me a little sheen I act and it'll last for a pretty good duration of the day it helps to moisturize the lips so you're kind of doing like a double action you're getting a little bit like this sheen to your lips but you're also moisturizing it and it feels really nice it looks good you can also do this with a gloss I personally don't like to use glosses like when I'm just like doing a a lot of stuff because I feel like my hair can get into it and it's kind of a pain. So how I feel is I'm treating my lips, I'm giving myself some color and it looks great. Now, this one is not on this list, but I've got to say mascara, okay? I always put on mascara. So since we since we're on the subject of makeup, I just, you know, mascara. Love mascara. So number 6 is a big one for me, okay? Because in the morning, I used to get up, I would just walk around in my socks all day, or I would put on whatever sneakers were next to me, and I would be wearing half pajamas, half sneakers, half socks, and you know, wearing socks all day, especially if you're home for a long period of time, is probably not the best for your feet, which I probably have learned. It's not the best thing to do, and honestly, sometimes when you're wearing cute pajamas, when you're wearing sneakers with them, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't make you look as cute. You don't have to buy some exactly like these, but I kind of love these so much. So these are really cute, got them on Amazon. Everything's gonna be linked down below, but I really, really love these slippers, okay? So they have that exaggerated fur on them. They're, they're super comfortable, and they also have grip on the bottom. So I will show you guys how it has the grip and everything, but they are a little wide, and I have very narrow feet 
feet. I would say if you have narrow feet, you may not be able to get away with these. I literally am borderline, but they feel so good on me and I love the way they look that I'm like kind of obsessed and yeah. So that's another way that you can make yourself feel a little bit better. Just wear some more elegant footwear, like buy yourself some nice, buy yourself some nice slippers. Just don't walk around with your socks all day is all, is all I'm saying. We're on to number seven and this one is a big one, okay? Cause this I'm a culprit, I'm a culprit of the throwing the hair in a bun on top of my head and literally like thinking that I can just go on my day with my messy bunned hair. And you know, sometimes it could look cute. I'm not, I'm like not against like a messy bun, but when you're not like, you know, put together and you throw this bun up, it looks kind of crazy. And I know I've looked at myself in the mirror. I'm gone like, Oh, Christina, <laughs> let's do something about the hair. There's a really simple fix to this. And this is just literally combing your hair and putting it up in a ponytail, putting your hair in a ponytail just looks a little bit better than throwing it up in a messy, crazy bun, especially when you're not fully put together. I mean, at least when you look in the mirror, you're like, I combed my hair today. It just makes me feel better. Like I kind of like use this rule of thumb. Like if somebody knocked on the door and I have to let them in my house, do I want to let them in my house with my crazy hair in the bun? Or would I rather have it pulled back in a ponytail? And it's usually combed hair with a ponytail. So yeah, why don't I just do that instead of just always throwing my hair in a bun? Number eight is actually one that I started doing not that long ago. And you know, I would say not all of us want to or can afford to do whitening treatments to our teeth. My family actually likes doing them. Like they'll go to the dentist and like have the whole treatment done. And I just can't, I just, I just honestly, the time like to do the molds and then have to sit there for so, uh, it's just not, no, to me, it just seems like such a hassle. So what I use is the Crest White Strips. I will show you guys an image of the ones I use. They are so, so good. So my teeth are super sensitive. So I typically cannot go through the entire box. Like you're supposed to do like 12 of them or whatever it is. I'll do like five or six and then I have to stop because of my teeth get very sensitive, but but I see a noticeable difference. And then what I'll do is I'll space out the remaining ones throughout the rest of the next few months. And sometimes I'll do like one every two weeks. Then the, sometimes I'll do one every month until I'm done with the box. And I literally see my teeth turn white, okay? So if you have the problem that you drink a lot of coffee, or if you're somebody who's starting to like not be like very happy with the way that your teeth looks, they want it to look a little bit more white, but you don't wanna go through the hassle of going to make an appointment and doing that whole whitening treatment stuff, Crest White Strips works amazing. I mean, for me, they have worked wonders and it's just a simple thing you can do. And once you're done with the whole box, you have months, like I think it's like seven or eight months that your teeth look good. So why not? Just a little bit of time, then you've got your teeth like looking white for seven to eight months. It takes me a year before I have to do them again. So number nine, don't throw a chair at the screen, okay? Number nine is workout, okay? Now I am not a worker outer. Okay, I am not somebody who enjoys to work out. So I can't sit here and tell you, join a spinning class, join, you know, like do some crazy workouts every day. I, I cannot tell you to do that because I personally don't do that. What I can tell you is what I do do, okay? So I love to do my little, my Comcast workouts. So I always watch the same workout video and I do the same exact thing. It has like three or four different like steps, three month program or something like that. And I literally do it all year long, you know? Like that's just my thing. I do it three to four times a week sometimes three, sometimes two, but at least I'm getting something done and I do see a huge difference. First off, I get so much more energy when I'm doing those workouts. Like I feel so much better. And then after doing them for a little bit of time, I actually wanna do more workouts. And I have added like little things here and there. Recently, I have not been that good with my working out. I need to get back into the ball game again, but but typically I usually do to three to four times a week and it makes me feel so much better. My back hurts less. I have more energy. I just feel more like ready to do stuff and I feel stronger. There's something about feeling stronger that makes you feel more productive and everything just feels better. So I definitely would say work out a little bit. Maybe don't do the whole gym thing if you don't want to, but find a program on TV. Comcast has a bunch of them or any of your TV providers probably have some free ones that you can try out. I will list down below the one I do and if you want to do it you can. I think it's just on Comcast there was a free one that you can do and then you can buy the rest of them. I'll list the one I do okay and it's super simple it's a beginner thing and it's 
I love it. And number 10. Number 10 is one I have told you guys multiple times. So I did want to leave it for last, but I do think that this is probably the one that I, at this moment, cannot live without. It is this product right here. I can't live without this, okay? So this is from L'Oreal. This is the Root Touch Up. You're probably going to be seeing this pretty soon in Amazon Favorites as well. This is one of my favorite products to just make myself feel better, okay? So I have a strip of gray hair that has loved to come out right around here I'll get them right around here but my problem is is that I have highlights so I have ashy blonde highlights which I love but I would constantly be having to go to the salon to touch up my roots because my grays come out within like two months but I don't need to do my hair for like six months so what I do is I get something like this this is fantastic and I spray my roots this will last until you wash your hair Okay, so it definitely is not a permanent hairspray, nothing like that. It's just like a cover up, okay? So I'll just spray it in the spots that I have, like the gray hairs. If I'm doing pictures, it completely deletes it. Doing videos, I'll spray it so that you can't see the gray hair. If I'm going to a party, I don't have to worry that my gray hairs are coming out. Even if I wake up in the morning, the night before I washed my hair, and I just don't want to look like I have gray hair in my head. It just helps me feel so much better. I spray this and I don't feel like I need to go to the salon. I don't feel like I have to hurry up and make an appointment. It's literally made my life easier, but then at the same exact time, it has made me feel better. So I honestly love that. I'm obsessed with it and I would highly recommend it to anybody who's struggling with gray hair. But anyways, that is all we have for today's video. I want to give another huge thank you to Silk Silky for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Like I said before, if you guys want to purchase any of their beautiful silk pajamas, they are amazing. They feel really, really good. And you can get 15% off with Brooke 15 and everything will be linked down below. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know if any of these tips are something that you would love to implement into your life or if you guys are doing anything else that has kind of just made you feel so much better. Leave those comments down below for your friends as well because maybe you have some amazing tips that I could probably learn from as well. So anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.